Good morning. My name is Mel and today we're going to be doing some PE. Mainly we're going to be doing stretching and yoga. Now if you're in your lounge you can do this on the carpet but if you're on a hard floor you may need a mat like I have over here and of course you can do it outdoors if you can uh, watch the video at the same time. Um, it's going to be about 15 minutes long and we're going to build up to what we call the sun salutation which is the Surya Namaska, uh, which is the prayer to the sun, which we definitely need. Um, and we're going to be building up exercises to that stretching and warming up. Um, try as ma many as you can. Parents, please do join in. It'd be lovely to have you there. And try this every day. You will find it very beneficial. We're going to start with some breathing. Now, breathing is very important to deep breathe actually helps with anxiety and well-being. So breathing through our nose, we're gonna do the breath of joy. Ready, breathing in four short breaths and we're going to breathe out four uh, big breaths. Ready, one, two, three. Two more to go. Excellent. Right, breathing through your nose, we're going to do lung cell stimulation. You're going to be beating your chest and your stomach, a bit like Tarzan. Remember, our lungs is what we breathe through, and we're going to be trying to stimulate, get them working. Ready? Breathe in, deep breath in, hold your breath, and then out four. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. more to go, breathe it in, last one, breathe it in, excellent, stretching our neck and shoulders now, taking your chin to your right shoulder and we're going to do five nods, one, two, three, four, Five on your left shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. I'm feeling a really good stretch in my neck. Let's repeat. One, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Taking your chin down to your chest and just holding for five. One, two, three, four, five. Clutch your hands behind your um, link with your hands behind your head and all you're going to do is stretch back you see I'm leaning back and breathing in and out close your eyes if you want to breathing in and out hopefully you're really feeling the benefits of breathing so deeply fantastic okay so moving on we're going to do some circles arms out and we're going to just be circling our wrists around we call concentric circles and try and do it as long as i am even though your arms might be getting a little bit tired okay we're going to change direction fantastic keep it going another 10 seconds Okay, we're going to be moving on to what we call the Tadasana, which is the pose of the mountain. So hands on elbows, you know, come up and stretch as high as you can. Okay, let me just tuck my shirt in a bit there and stretch it up. So we're going to breathe in and out. Do I look like a mountain? Breathing in and out. Okay, I'm going to try that standing up and I'll show you. When you breathe in, you're going to go onto your tiptoes. Okay, so you're ready, breathing in and out. If you can't go onto your tiptoes, I'll show you what it looks like from this view. Then just 
stand on your left feet, breathing in. And out. And in. And out. Excellent. And then one more breathing exercise, although we're going to be breathing throughout, called the cleanser breath. So we bring our arms to the side, bring them behind us. If you can connect your arms behind you like that, that's great. But if you can't, then it looks like a little bit like a swan. And then we're going to do a and come down. So I'll do the, the slightly easier version first. Breathing in. Okay, I'll show you the one where you connect behind your back. Breathing in. And breathing in. Excellent. Right. We're going to move on to what we call the warrior pose. So I'm going to just move my mat around. Okay, you can do this in the chair, a bit of it in the chair. Okay, and the way it works is like that. So looking over and leaning. So lean into your left, lean into your right, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Okay, I'll show you that just standing up now. Star shape. Your left leg's going to turn outwards, and that's the knee that's going to bend forward. So breathing in and out. Do I look like a warrior? Talk to battle. Okay, and again, breathing in. And out. You want some more challenge? Bring your arm over and connect into a shape. You can tell me what you think the shape looks like and hold. Okay, swap over to the right side now. Breathing in and out. See how my knee is over my foot here. Breathing in and out. And connect up there. Okay, go back to the chair for the last time. So you do some windmills. Okay, opposite hand to opposite foot. So we're crossing over. Right hand to left, left hand to right. Okay, so crossing over, touching your knees if you can. Touch it even further down if you can. Then individual legs, try and get down as far as you can. Okay, and like that. Okay, so that's what you're going to do if you are in a chair. If you're not, then you're going to be sitting on your mat. So legs apart, like that. I want you to try and stretch down to your feet. Okay, if you can't get that far, go as far as you can but please don't bend your legs because otherwise you won't feel the stretch in your hamstrings which are the muscles behind so stretch as far as you can and we're going to do that for 10 seconds if you need more challenge try and put your nose down to your knee okay you ready 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay swap over to the other side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in and out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're now going to try and hold on to both feet. So if you can't go that far, just go as far as you can. If you're requiring more challenge, see if you can try and get your head down to the ground. Okay, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to do that again. You should feel a stretch in your hamstrings and a stretch in your shoulders and your, your chest. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely stretch. You'll notice I've got some water in all my um, workouts. And it's really important to drink as much water as you can during the day. But particularly when you are working out like this, it just keeps you really healthy and balanced. Okay. Then put our palms together. Might be that your knees are really high, so the challenge would be first to get your knees down. Okay. If you're very flexible, supple, your challenge is going to be to try and get your your nose down to your feet okay so ready we're going to count to ten nine eight seven six five four three two one those who are trying to get their knees down could also try what we call the butterfly in yoga which is that do this one more time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Brilliant, hope you're still with me, doing really well. We're gonna do uh, what we call the cat stretch now and hopefully you can see that this looks like a cat. So it's going on to all fours, okay? When cats get really angry, they arch their backs like that and then their tails go all bottle brushy. Okay, so hopefully I look like a cat. So we're gonna breathe in, you see there, my, my back's got a little bit of arching and then we're going to breathe out and come all the way up. Okay, so breathing in, look up to the sky, breathe out. When you hear that sound again, breathing in and out. Nice deep breath through your nose, breathing in and out. The last one, breathing in and out. Okay, so that's called the cat stretch. Next one is called the rabbit. Now this is only for those who are happy to put a bit of pressure on their head. It's wonderful for clearing your sinuses if they're a bit blocked, your nose is a bit blocked. And um, try and do as much as you can. All right, so all fours, head down, okay? If that's enough for you, then that's fine. If you want a bit more challenge, bring your arms behind you. And can anyone see my rabbit ears? Hopefully you can see the rabbits. Okay, so we're going to breathe in and out. And in and out. Just hold it there. Breathing in and out. Right, we move on to the two, last two exercises, which are the ones we're going to do for the sun salutation. And the first one, a lot of animal names, is the cobra. Does anyone know what a cobra is? Well, you guessed it, it's a snake. And this is what a snake does when it's angry as well. It rears up. You know, lie down. And you can stay on your elbows if, if uh, that's all you can do. That's no problem. Okay. If you want a bit more challenge, come up on your hands. And... You see the snake? Okay, we're going to breathe in and out. Looking over the right shoulder, breathe in and out. Looking over the left shoulder, breathe in and out. In and out. Only go back as far you, as you feel comfortable. Don't hurt your back. Okay, that's a lovely stretch. We go from the cobra into, if you've got a dog, this is what they do quite a bit, the dog stretch. When they're stretching, they go into this position. So we're going to go from our knees and curl our toes up into the dog stretch. You should be looking through your legs and look how straight my legs are. And I try and get my heels down on the floor. If you need a bit more challenge, bring your left leg up and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a wonderful stretch for your back, your hamstrings, and calf muscles. Right, we're now going to go in 
to our Surya Namaskar, Prayer to the Sun. And I'm going to do two this way with the mat this way, and then I'm going to turn the mat. And then our session will be ended today. Hopefully by the end of doing this enough, you'll remember the sun salutation. And you can do it without watching the video. Breathing in. And out. Slowly coming down. Hands down. Left leg comes back into the runner stance. Right leg comes back into what looks like a, a bit of a plank there. Into our cobra. Breathing in. Out. Breathing in. And out. You guessed it, the dog stretch. Okay. Remember that little variation if you feel you want a bit more challenge. Okay. Otherwise, you're working on getting your balance and getting your heels down. We're going to bring our left leg forward now. Uh, try and get the, the foot in between your hands if possible. Right leg joins. Slowly curling up into a straight position. Breathing in and out. So our right foot's turned now. Breathing in and out. Right leg goes back. Left leg goes back. Come down into your cobra. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Up into your dog stretch. Hold it for about 10 seconds. So, if you want to make, have a bit more challenge, you can now jump your feet in like that towards your hands. But if not, just bring your right foot forward. Your left leg comes through, slowly curling up, breathing in and out. I'm going to do two more. And I just want to show it from this position so you can see what it looks like. Okay, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Dog stretch. Variations. Left foot forward, right foot forward, breathing in, out. Doing really well. Last one now, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out, breathing in and out. Dog stretch, hold that as long as you can. Remember to your right foot now, hold that runner's stance position. Left leg follows, breathing in and out. And namaste. Well done, everyone. I'm going to say a fantastic effort there. Hope you do this every day. And I'm now going to say adios, arrivederci, au revoir, and tot sense, goodbye.